talking about the beeswax. Yeah. Beeswax. Um, the beeswax been used for thousands of years. And every beekeeper knows how to collect it, how to process it, uh, how to turn into a candle or use for many other things. And um, a simple device to process the beeswax is a solar wax uh, melter. And it's just, just a simple box, insulated box with a glass cover. And uh, the sun heats the wax through the glass and melts it. Uh, and many are made in the world, different sizes, different shapes. And um, we're going to show how we made ours. Our main engineer and designer in chief, Nini, got fully involved in the project. Your main goal was to create something that has a style that looks nice in our gardens and serves a purpose to melt beeswax. Long hours of planning were very tiring, but very fruitful. We are using pre-loved wine barrels for our project. People making all kinds of cool projects from used wine barrels, making tables, cabinets, uh, usually the wine barrels are very good quality, made from solid, thick oak. We found exactly what we need, a 37 inch tall used wine barrel. The first challenge was to make exact markings on the barrel to, to where to make a cut. So for that purpose, we're going to use uh, two self-leveling lasers against each other and that's gonna be best tool for this task. Before we start cutting the boards we have to secure them with uh, screws. We're going to use stainless steel screws and screw each board to the metal hoop. We cut the metal hoops first. Using a sozzle, we followed our marked lines and made the exact cut. Now we needed to make the front of the barrel ready for the opening lid. For this, for this we used Douglas fir inch and a half thick boards. We joined them together with wooden dowels. The way we are creating very strong joint and we don't need any screws or nails and it's going to hold for a long, long time. We cut the bottom opening where the melted wax will drip. On the bottom of the barrel, we found these little cubes made from oak. So we find out that wineries add these little cubes to the wine, to aging wine in the barrel, to give wine different, different tastes, different uh, flavors. Now we had to insulate the bottom of the barrel using bubble reflective foil insulation and sheet metal as finishing surface. We lined it inside of the barrel walls with the same reflective bubble insulation and also added aluminum foil And for the finishing surface, we used aluminum roofing flashing material.
On the front part, we needed to mark the cutting line. We cut about an inch away from the marked line. A few more cuts, then sanding, routing the edges and making sure all parts fit nicely together. For the front lid we used Thermoplast that we ordered it online, it's, it's usually used for greenhouses. We use this aluminum angle for the tracking guide of the Thermoplast lid. We attach the front and make sure that the lid opens and closes freely. For the bottom door, we attached a small handle and two latches. To darken new wood, we stain it just to kind of match the old oak. Because the wax melt is going to be standing outside most of the time, uh, we're going to use a sealant to protect the wood from rain and sun. On the top edge of the new front, we attach copper flashing uh, using uh, pure copper nails. The copper will not corrode or rust and also will give the wax melt a, a, good, a good look, good aesthetics. And for the wax collecting pan, we are using an aluminum pan designed for water heaters. We just found one that fits perfectly. We punch a small hole in the pan and taper it at the bottom to make sure it aligns to the center. And also we needed a shelf to lay beehives wax combs on it. We attach an aluminum frame for the lid and make sure it fits nicely. We still needed to seal the pan from the bottom compartment to preserve the heat. And for that, we decided that pipe insulation will work best. So here is our first testing. We got a long cooking thermometer and the temperature inside the barrel melter has to reach 170 Fahrenheit. So we leave our device in the sun. About an hour later, thermometer showing 150 Fahrenheit. So it's not quite enough. We added insulation on the bottom of the pan and tested it again.
and now it easily gets to 170 Fahrenheit. We made a nice wooden plug for the thermometer. We're testing it again with real beehive combs. and it works great. We are getting beautiful, fresh bee wax. And Nanny is very happy with the final results. The barrel can fit uh, 10 deep Langstroth frames. And by rotating them, we can easily melt them all. We build this while we're in California. And sun is there is always hot, it's always hot temperatures. So in different climates, in colder climates, we probably would uh, add some more insulation, would paint inside block to achieve required temperature to melt the wax. And um, it took us much longer than this video to build this. We tried different materials, different design, and, and finally we got it to where we where everything worked well and we very happy with the results and we happy how it looks. Anybody happy how it looks? Is she?